Hey YouTube, it's Taco Cow, and today I'm just gonna be um, excavating some organs from these mice that I've been preserving to get us started, I guess, or to uh, help us get along on our uh, journey to diaphanizing. So these mice that I got, they're two feeder mice. I bought them at like a local pet store. You can buy them frozen or you can buy them live. Your choice. So I decided to preserve two mice. I put them in a 70-30 formalin mixture, 70% formalin, 30% water mixture, so I just, it's still formalin's formalin, it doesn't change. And my mice right now, I preserved them in back in November. I've just been busy, so I haven't had a lot of time to do anything with them. So the first mouse looks like this. It's in a jar, as you can see, kind of. My second mouse looks like this. And today I'm just going to be using this kit that I bought off of eBay. It was like $20, probably less. It was called a surgical a surgical kit. And it came with all these different tools. It comes with about five surgical blades, I think, for each scalpel. So you got like a good amount of those in there. Yeah, I'll provide like a link to, I guess, the buyer that I bought this from off of eBay in case any of you guys want to get one of these because they are kind of neat and nifty. You never know when you may need it. So... In order to, I guess, remove the organs from your mouse or the, your mice, you're going to obviously need goggles if you're sensitive to formalin or any type of preservatives like that. It is good to wear these in case you get them slashed in your eye. I wouldn't be surprised if it was unpleasant by getting it in your eyes or your nose or your mouth. I couldn't imagine it tasting good. So you might want to work some goggles. I... These are just lab goggles that I got throughout college because we needed them for chemistry and organic and stuff like that. So maybe you have these, maybe you don't. You can buy them at Home Depot, you can buy them probably at Lowe's, you can buy them at like a gardening place, who knows. You can even get them off the, like, the internet too, so maybe try that, they might be cheaper. And next, you're definitely going to want some gloves because this is not good to get on your skin. It preserves things, so why would you want to get it on your skin? So you just want to make sure you have some gloves. I have these blue ones. Put some on. how these fit. So they look. I like the blue ones. I do get the latex ones without the powder. I don't like the way they make my hands feel. These, they do tend to make your hands feel a little sweaty because they don't have the powder, but with the powder, it just leaves a nasty smell and I just don't like that. Ugh. Mine are in size extra small, I guess, because I have delicate little lady fingers. Working with formalin, you're also, since this does have a really strong odor, you are going to want to work in a well-ventilated area. Um, preferably with like windows or something with like a fan just so you can kind of move the air around. You're also going to want to use some type of plates. Maybe you have, um, I don't know, a tray from, I don't know, for dissection. I don't have one of those so I just use paper plates. It's easier, you can throw them away, I can just kind of rinse it off. As I'm excavating the organs, I'm going to be using the formalin from my old, from my mice, from the mice that I, uh, preserved already a few months back and I'm just going to be putting them in another jar just so I don't throw them in the trash or just throw them out because that wouldn't be fun for the environment. So I'm just going to keep them in a little jar. You never know when you might need one, I guess. <laughs> and then just in case any of you guys were wondering what formalin is, it's actually formaldehyde but in its liquid form. And all I do is with this, I take 70 milliliters of formalin and then to that I add 30 milliliters of water to dilute it. So I do a 70-30 dilution of formalin when I preserve my specimens. You can buy this, I'm not sure if you can buy it online because a lot of online companies or science companies don't ship to residential areas. I actually purchased mine locally at a science store. So you may want to look around for something like that if it's not offered to buy online. Because it was kind of difficult to try to find some of these items and have them be shipped to a residential area. Because a lot of companies want them to be, or don't allow them to be shipped to residential areas and want them to be shipped to like schools or businesses and things like that. Because they are hazards. Here's my liter of formalin. I do use it very wisely, or at least I try to preserve it because these do run about 30 to $40 per liter. Or I'm sorry, per gallon. I have a gallon. So they run about 30 to $40, maybe 50 to 60 depending on where you can get yours from. But I got this for about $40. So. Alright, so we have our gloves, we have our goggles, and we have our surgical kits with our scalpels. So let's get going and let's excavate those organs from those mice. Someone convenient to blame You can take your pick, it's one or the other DNA 
excavated our mice of their organs. Ooh. <laughs> I just changed the solution. I put them back in formalin and it looks a lot better. They're finally clean of their organs. It's been months and they've been waiting. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you found it kind of um, helpful if you guys are into this type of thing or if you just want to learn about what it is because it is very interesting. I'll post some links down in the description just to kind of um, send you to some websites to learn about diaphanization and to kind of learn what the process is and how cool everything can be. It looks awesome. Please, please, please stay tuned for more videos on diaphanization. I will be posting my journey through all of this. We'll be going through my whole process of the dyeing the bones, dyeing the cartilage, using the chemicals, telling you what kind of chemicals I use and how I'm doing it. I can't wait to share this process with you guys. As all of you know, or maybe you don't, this is my first time doing this. This is kind of like my trial run. I've never done this before, and I do have all the chemicals that I need, so um, it's kind of fun. I'm very excited. Oh so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please, please, please look out for more. Please thumb up and subscribe if you found this helpful, if you found this interesting, or if you love science or the weird science. Check the links down in the description. They will be helpful. They will give you more information, and yeah.